This is lesson 12 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. If you haven't watched the rest of the course yet, I recommend you start at the beginning by clicking either the link to lesson 1, or if you're watching this on a video sharing site, look for the link to the playlist. Now that you have a bit of an idea of how the front end is constructed, let's have a look at the back end, called the Joomla Administrator. This is where you'll manage the content and structure of your website. Enter your site address, followed by a forward slash, and then the word administrator. In my case, that means www.joomlavideodemo.com forward slash administrator. If you installed Joomla in a subfolder of your web hosting account, you would enter the domain name, your subfolder name, and then administrator. For example, www.joomlavideodemo.com forward slash Joomla, forward slash administrator. Enter the username and password that you specified during the installation. If your site was installed by your host, then they should have sent you the login. Click the Login button, and you're taken to this page called the Control Panel. The icons on this first page give you quick access to the most commonly used features. And all features can be accessed from the menus along the top. Let's briefly go through the menu options. The first link under the Site menu takes you back to this initial control panel page. My profile is where you can change your username, password and other settings. Global configuration contains the settings for your site. There are also maintenance and information pages. Finally, when you've finished using Administrator, it's a good idea to log out. And there is also a logout link in the top right of this page. The Users menu is where you can create user accounts for your site. Users can be restricted to certain areas of the site. For example, all visitors to your site can view the public pages. You might like to publish information that can only be visible to certain users who log into the site using a username and password. You can do this by creating rules that specify who can view or edit certain content. The next menu is the Menus menu. If you've built traditional websites, this is one of the harder concepts of Joomla to understand. You don't create, create pages as such with Joomla, Instead, you create content items, which is what the next menu is for, and then create menu items that, in effect, create a page. This is all made clear in the following lessons. You can have multiple menus and multiple menu items. And the configuration for this is found under Menus. So your actual content items are managed from the Content menu and stored inside Categories. This is demonstrated in the next lesson. Components provide specific functionality. Unlike a normal article page that might consist of text and images, components provide some sort of dynamic function, such as banner advertising, e-commerce, or RSS feeds. Components are one type of Joomla extension, and you'll find the other types in the Extensions menu. Joomla comes with some basic extensions, but there are thousands of third-party options too. There are some information boxes on the right-hand side of the control panel page. These types of boxes are used a lot throughout the Joomla administrator. When you click the title of a box, it expands to display more information. Clicking the title again collapses the box. Or, if there are a series of boxes and you expand one, 
clicking the title of another box collapses the first one. Along the top is some information including the number of users currently logged into the front end, that is the public side of the website, and the number of users logged in to the backend administrator. Joomla has a private messaging system that can be accessed here, and you can open a new tab to view the front end with this link. Finally, as mentioned before, you can log out of Administrator with this link, which is always a good idea when you've finished. This returns you to the Administrator login page. That's a quick overview of the major parts of the Joomla Administrator. All of the concepts you need to know to build a basic site are demonstrated in the following lessons. Once again, I encourage you to download the free companion workbook for this series as it includes screenshots to help you through the next lessons. This is available from our website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. The next lesson explains the Joomla storage system. <laughs>